Hello, everyone, and welcome to Insider Financial Talk Stocks. My name is Alex Carlson. I will be your host today, the editor-in-chief of InsiderFinancial.com. And in this video, we will recap last week's market action and discuss our game plan for the coming week. But first up, to get our market-moving reports on top small caps, click that link in the description or go to signup.insiderfinancial.com or sign up with your email on any of the pop-ups on insiderfinancial.com. After you sign up with your email, you can then sign up with your mobile number Number. Mobile is the fastest way to get our reports and it works for all numbers worldwide. Simply enter your country code first, followed by your number. For US and Canada, to be one plus area code and number. Never begin the format with zero, it will not work. And after you sign up, you will get a welcome email which includes a free copy of the Insider Financial Guide to Penny Stocks ebook. Our ebook, our email service, and our text messaging service are all free service from insiderfinancial.com. We do not run any paid subscription service, no Discord rooms or Telegram chat groups. Well, guys, we had a decent week uh, last week thanks to Tupperware, T-U-P. Uh, we covered Tupperware in our Tuesday video. Uh, we said get ready on the hunt for another big runner this week, and that runner was Tupperware. They ended up becoming the biggest runner of the week, matter of fact, across all markets, with a 242% gain for the week. Uh, the stock has become a meme stock like AMC and GameStop. There was no news last week to send shares higher. It was simply the Wall Street bets crowd squeezing the shorts. 25% of the float is short. The last we heard from the company was back in April when Tupperware's board actively engaged with management to improve the company's capital structure and near-term liquidity. Tupperware also engaged financial advisors to assist in securing supplemental financing and said it was in discussions with potential investors or financing partners. TUP is also reviewing its real estate portfolio for properties available for potential dispositions or sale leaseback transa transactions and is exploring right-sizing efforts, monetization of fixed assets, cash management, and marketing and channel, channel optimization to preserve or deliver additional liquidity. Congrats to all who banked last week in Tupperware. Besides Tupperware, the only other stock that we covered that made a move was Finger Motion FNGR, up 26% for the week. Uh, most of last week's action was in the higher price names, especially Roku on Friday. Look at the returns on Roku calls. I mean, $80 calls were up 1,900%. That's almost 20x in one day. And there was plenty of time, plenty of time, and plenty of opportunity to make money in ROKU calls. Uh, the stock opened under $75 and powered higher throughout the day. Uh, again, 20x in one day in uh, trading Roku call options. There are not, you are not seeing those types of opportunities or those returns in penny stocks right now. This is why I always say trade all markets and don't box yourself in. If you do that, you can end up like OTC traders and on food stamps. Roku ran on the back of better than expected earnings. This shows you that you don't have to guess ahead of earnings. Are the earnings going to be good or bad? That's flipping a coin. Wait until after the report and look for the for momentum. That's what I do. I played the ro the rally in Roku and I faded uh, first solar FSLR. Uh, it opened at two twenty three fifty nine. Uh, hit. 224.50 immediately and then sold off. So it was a complete fade on the gap up. So uh, puts were printing uh, in FSLR on uh, Friday. And this is why I think, uh, as I say, you know, wait for the earnings and then you can, you know, look for trade setups that day uh, of the earnings report. And Monday, we're going to get, you know, this week, there's going to be a lot of earnings reports. Uh, Monday, uh, I like SoFi. That is certainly going to be market moving. Uh, the company is going to be reporting Q2 uh, earnings results before the market opens tomorrow. Uh, the consensus EPS estimate is for a loss of seven cents and the consensus revenue is 475 million which would be up 33.6 percent year over year over the last one year sofi has beaten eps estimates 50 percent of the time and has beaten revenue estimates 100 percent of the time 
On Tuesday, I'll be watching Uber Technologies, AMD, and Pinterest Pins. On Wednesday, I'll be watching Unity Software, Fastly, Zillow, and Shopify. Uh, on Thursday, Amazon, Apple, uh, Airbnb, Coinbase, DraftKings, Moderna, and Wayfair. And then on Friday, we get Fisker, FUBU, and Nikola. And there's a lot more uh, stocks reporting. Uh, again, if there is anything interesting there, um, I will uh, update you guys. But uh, also on Friday, we get jobs data at 8.30 a.m. Uh, the U.S. jobs report for July uh, is forecast to uh, show 200,000 job gains uh, and expect the unemployment rate to stay at 3.6 percent average hourly earnings are expected to be up 0.3 percent month over month and 4.2 percent year over year and again we are in the heart of earnings seasons and this is when a lot of stocks are making big moves I will be following all of these names and trading them. Uh, if you want my trade setups and ideas, click that link in the description or go to signup.insiderfinancial.com or sign up on any of the pop-ups on insiderfinancial.com. And again, it is a completely free service, guys. In terms of small caps and penny stocks, last week we didn't get much follow-through besides Tupperware. Uh, just look at Friday's action. Uh, I had previewed these two, two names, said watch them. Uh, SIGA uh, Technologies, S-I-G-A, uh, opened at 636. Uh, the first minute of trading, uh, that's the other thing is I try not to do anything at the open. I want to do wait for the first minute. So I, if I'm going to do anything, it's going to be at 931. Uh, that first minute gives me a sense of, okay, are, is it, uh, is it, you know, is it bouncing around? Is the market uncertain? Uh, is it, you know, we getting a green candle, we getting a red candle. It tells you like, is, are they going to fade this? Are they going to rally this? Uh, and these, uh, the, the stocks that I am trading each day, these are the stocks that are in play for that day. So you're going to get a major move one way or another. And it's usually going to be in that first 30 minutes. So again, a lot of these, you know, are, are, are pure momentum plays. You know, that's what I like. I like to get in, get out, make that money, move on to the next trade. And if you look at SIGA, like I said, it was a, ended up being a red candle. Same with uh, UFAB. Uh, you know, unbelievable what UFAB did. Uh, they came in and, and put out a, 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 a press release in the middle of the day. They said uh, the company has no news to announce at this time that would that would account for the recent increase in trading activity of its shares of common stock. I mean, the stock was 50 cents. You know, they put this out. It gets halted. It opens at 41 cents. It sells off. I mean, I guess they just don't want a higher stock price. I mean, these guys are completely dumbasses. I, I feel bad for the shareholders uh, that are in UFAB. These guys just have no clue what they're doing. Uh, and, you know, it's it's a 34 cent stock for a reason. Uh, I, I hope they get their, their you know, crap together uh, and start putting out some results for their uh, shareholder base instead of these uh, stupid PRs. No, uh, no news, nothing to justify an increase in our stock price. That's basically what they said. And that is why the stock went lower. But uh, in terms of small caps that I'm watching for Monday, I like the charts on Tilray, T-L-R-Y, R-G-T-I, and FUBU. FUBU, as I said, will be reporting, reporting earnings on Friday. And I can't believe that I'm even saying that I like the chart on Tilray. Tilray. <laughs> the stock has been a dog with fleas, ticks, worms, rabies, and every known disease. It's just been a horrible investment. The entire cannabis sector is just light, you know, instead of lighting uh, uh, ganja on fire or, or cannabis on fire. Uh, they just been lighting shareholder money on fire. It's just absolutely uh, horrible. And, uh, you know, let's see uh, what they can do. Hopefully it's turning around. We got the gap up uh, on uh, Wednesday and then uh, powered higher on Thursday and Friday. Let's hopefully uh, they can start running. Uh, there's a major share uh, short position in Tilray. So uh, let's uh, keep our eye and, and hopefully uh, this rally continues. Um, but you know, what I do here at insiderfinancial.com is put stocks on your radar that have the potential for outsized moves. As I say repeatedly, there's always opportunities each day in the markets. The problem is identifying which stocks to be in to grab that money. 
You know, the key is trading green, not red. You know, we are looking for these momentum plays that have catalysts. It's all about finding the momentum before it happens and then ride that wave. And if you notice from uh, the week's uh, previous week's videos, we haven't had any have had many new ideas in our weekend video because Friday's been, you know, lackluster, not a lot, a lot of setups. We're not seeing after hours action, uh, but our Monday and Tuesday night videos have been banging. Uh, it's easier for me to get a sense of the new trading week, uh, you know, after Monday and Tuesday uh, to get a sense of what it looks like is going to run, where the momentum is, uh, and, and find winners for you guys. So, you know, make sure you subscribe, you know, click that link in the description, you know, click that subscribe button on YouTube, you know, follow us. Again, it's completely free, guys. And, you know, we cover a lot of things here at insiderfinancial.com we cover you know in terms of our small cap reports we cover low floats short squeezes recent ipos biotech fda plays ai stocks ev stocks lithium plays it's all here for you guys click that link in the description or go to sign up that insiderfinancial.com or sign up on any of the pop-ups on insiderfinancial.com no spam your info is never shared unsubscribe anytime you can even sign up just to see the level of research we do here at insiderfinancial.com and unsubscribe. Finally, Insider Financial and I are not investment advisors. This video does not provide investment advice. Always do your research, make your own investment decisions, or consult with your nearest financial advisor. This video is not a solicitation or recommendation by seller hold securities. This video is our opinion, is meant for informational and educational purposes only, and does not provide investment advice. Past performance is not indicative of future performance. Thanks for watching. Remember to smash that like button and hit the notification bell to be notified when a new video is uploaded. Good luck this week, guys. Bye bye.